I wanted to talk about low back pain today. Um, I hurt my low back a couple weeks ago and it's been slowly getting better. I thought it would get better like that and it didn't and so I've really been working with it a lot. Um, I wanted to kind of share what's been working with me because I know half of, I read a statistic that half of all golfers um, get low back pain or have low back pain have problems with low back pain. So that's kind of why I'm sharing this because I've been um, doing a lot of research on it and trying a lot of different things. Um, but if you have severe back pain, if you have very problematic back, please talk to a doctor. These are the things that have just worked for me, so it's not, um, it's just in my opinion. Um, but yes, please um, consult a professional um, who can help you probably much better. But these are the things that have worked for me. And, um, but this is kind of how I hurt my low back. Um, I do contortion stuff as well. So I was doing a lot of stretching with that. And I think my low back just tightened um, from doing that. I didn't, I didn't hurt my back doing that, but I think it tightened from doing that. And then I think that combined with my golf swing um, pinched uh, my low back and um, my muscle got really tight on my left side. So I've been um, working to help release that. So when that first happened, I could barely stand up. I was having a lot of problems standing up um, and I was having a lot of problems even like walking because my low back was so tight. So the first thing I kind of did was kind of actually I um, sought out some professional help and um, so I went to chiropractic centers and massage centers. So I went to Performance Health in Las Vegas and I went to Studio Wellness here and it's just good hearing um, other people's opinions and kind of putting that with your own and kind of getting realigned and things like loosened up. So that was the first thing I did. One thing that they really helped me was talking about back articulation. So the first thing that really helped me was this that I um, do it kind of every day, like when I'm watching TV and stuff like that, but just rolling up through my lower back here and then rolling down. So I literally just go as slow as I can. So it's, it's just rolling up through my lower spine here, pushing down into my heels and using my glutes, and then just rolling down nice and slow. Because I noticed um, that when you hurt your lower back, it tends to move as one block. And really for a healthy lower back, it needs to really articulate. And so I wanted to get it moving again so that it flowed and didn't do this. <laughs> that was what was really hurting it standing up so I started kind of loosening it up by doing that back articulation that really really helped a lot um, some other things that helped right away was I would use natural products and try not to mask the pain but try to take the inflammation down because I want to feel the pain I want to know what I should and shouldn't be doing I think if you take away all the pain you can start doing things that hurt it and not know so I've been using Arnica on it which I think kind of helps I've also been using um, this arnica with menthol in it as well. And I've been using turmeric pills to help kind of take down the inflammation. And I've been using CBD oil as well to kind of help with the pain and the inflammation. Um, so I think all those products have been helpful. Also like warm baths have been helpful to kind of help loosen it up. Um, some other things that have been really helpful is just really static stretching and just stretching it slow. I think at first I was actually trying to stretch too much and I was actually irritating my spine, but um, pigeon um, pose and stretch really helped for me because I think my glutes, I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's down going out here right now, but um, I think my glutes have been really tight, my hips are really tight, and so just sitting here in this pose for like three, five minutes has really helped. You can also kind of like lay down in this pose as well. And just breathing through it, this kind of all really helps loosen this up here. Um, some other poses that really have helped me are um, when we cross over here and you put your knees on top of each other and just holding this, again, it's kind of a hip opener, loosener here, but I think my hips are so tight that it's kind of been pulling on my lower back here. And I also think with my golf swing, um, you get so much into your hips that if your hips are tight, you can, um, I think they sometimes get like even almost a little bit tighter. So I know sometimes this pose can be really hard to get into. I wasn't even able to do this pose five years ago because I was so tight. So it's here. So 
you can also just be here where you're crossed over and you can just hug in um, your knee. You can also do it with this leg straight too. So just hugging in, hugging in your knee here. Um, other good stretches here, laying on the ground, just bringing your knees over to one side here and looking the opposite way. So do it this way. So I just keep my legs bent when I do it. You can also straighten out that bottom leg if you want to. And just moving nice and slow, kind of stretching everything out. Also coming up, you know, try, trying to come up to the side and not kind of like sitting up there as fast as you can. Um, also child's pose has been really good for me too. Just sitting in it again when I'm watching TV. Um, so toes together and then just reaching out. I have my fingers like this and I kind of almost pull the ground back because I try to um, really get as much length in my spine as possible when I'm doing this. So pulling back and trying to get length. And also, as I'm pulling back here, I don't know if you can kind of see, but I try to push down on my shoulders too because I also think that when your upper back is not as flexible, especially in golf too, um, your rotation isn't as good and it can cause some low back stress. So one of the other things that I've been doing to stretch my shoulders out is I need a lot of surface floor. But you can do this on your knees too, or your hands. But finding a surface, hands on it, nice flat back. So again, I'm keeping a flat back and not arching my back here. And pulling that. And just letting my shoulders sink down here. So that way I'm getting some um, stretch through my um, upper back as well. Um, in addition to static stretching, which I've been doing very gently and lightly, I've also been doing um, some foam rolling and I've been sitting on balls. So you can use a tennis ball if you don't have like one of these rubber balls. Um, but I've been doing this a lot for my glutes, again, because my glutes are super tight. So again, I'm talking about my little back pain and how to get rid of it. So sitting on balls here, you can roll back and forth on them. But once you kind of find a knot or um, something that's really tight, I kind of just hold it there. Breathe, I try to hold it for like 30 seconds and then try to move on to the next spot that's really tight. So sitting on it with my glutes. Um, also starting at the base of my spine here. Laying down here. And then I'll kind of almost roll around, almost in a circle. And just kind of massage it out. You can also find spots in your low back that are really tight as well. Hold. You can roll the ball all the way up through your spine. And all the way back down. Um, you can use it on your hip flexors. So having it here and then laying down on it. You can also use a foam roller for your hip flexors too. This will dig in a little bit more. Um, and a lot of people have really tight hip flexors, especially if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but especially if you arch your back here, your, like if you, if your butt sticks out a little bit, usually your hip flexors are tight here. Um, so if you arch your back, you probably have tight hip flexors. Um, but yeah, if you lay on, lay on this here, and you go up and down here, you can kind of roll out your hip flexor. If you go down a little more, you can roll out your quad. Um, same thing with the foam roller. You can do, you can sit on it as well here and roll on your glutes. Um, you can roll it up and down your spine. I'd rather roll up and down my spine with this than, um, than like a tennis ball. And then you can get your upper back too. Again, if your upper back is super tight here. Because everything's connected, because even though it's your lower back that hurts, you want to stretch out your upper back as well because everything's connected, everything's connected in your core. So if one part's, if one part's really tight, like if you're really tight in your upper back, it can be pulling on your lower back. If you're really tight in your hip flexors, it can be pulling on your um, lower back. So if your hip flexors are so tight, then it, it does really pull on your lower back. So everything works together. So besides stretching and foam rolling, 
I've also just been doing um, stabilization work, so with my core. So I haven't been doing anything crazy. Um, I'm just doing a lot of stabilizing. So some of the things I've been doing are core work. So just holding a plank position and breathing. And if I do feel in my lower back, I just like progress down. So I go down to my lower knees and just hold. And again, holding for like a minute or two, um, not moving too much. Can do side planks as well. For me, it kind of hurts, kind of irritated at first when I went on both feet like this. So I just started with on my knee. And as I felt better, then I'd like lift up a leg. You can go in and out. So just as long as things don't irritate, I'll do. So, um, so this right now doesn't irritate. So it feels fine. Also, on your hands and your knees here, you can extend your opposite arm and leg and bring it in. So I've just started including some of these in. I know at first, like the first week or two, I wouldn't have even been able to do this because my low back was so irritated. So as my low back has freed up, then I started adding in some of these, um, some of the movement stuff. When it first hurt my low back, I would just do things like just holding this would be good enough for me, or I would just hold the um, upper part of a crunch position too. So just holding right here, and then really pushing my rib cage down helped. And then also um, cobra position too. So hands by my side here, and then just squeezing my glute muscles and lifting my chest up off the ground here. Try not to use my hands and just breathing, but yeah, so this sometimes irritates my lower back, so if it irritates my lower back, then I just kind of go, go down and just don't go as high up. So then, oh, stretch your back again here. Um, now that my back started to um, get a little bit better, I just started including in some strength exercises um, and since I think a lot of my back pain um, revolves around golf, I've started trying to put some more golf strength exercises in my training program. And I started by doing this on my left hand, my left side and not my right side. So I golf like right handed here. So I'm trying to do like cable pulls to the left side instead. So just start working more of the obliques to make sure that um, to make sure everything is symmetrical and balanced on both sides uh, because it sucks that golf is one-sided, but it is. So, <laughs> so I'm making sure that everything um, stays balanced. Um, as my low back feels better, I'll add more strength exercises in, um, more dynamic movements in um, to kind of help with my um, swing. But that's what I've been doing so far to help in my low back pain. Um, it's been getting a lot better. Today I actually went golfing for the first time and it has felt good afterwards. Not too bad. I have like a little bit of pain still there, but um, it didn't make it worse to go golfing. So I think a lot of the core stabilization exercises really helped and just letting it kind of heal and pulling back on it. Um, but yeah, shoot me a message or um, write a comment on things maybe that have helped you and so I can try to take a look at that or let me know if you have any um, questions or comments. But hopefully that helps a little bit and hopefully I can update you guys again um, as my back gets even um, better. So thanks for listening.